I paced back and forth in the glorified nook I call the dining room, my eyes locked on the two vacutainers that sat on the table, like the distant rumble of an inbound train. The mantra returned. There is an urge inside you which cannot be satisfied with conventional methods. It grew louder and louder, and my mouth started to salivate. I didn't mean to steal the blood samples. The less than an ounce of blood within them was not going to stifle the livelihood of the people they came from, either. If anything, it would be a slap on the wrist and a lot of ketchup at work. Nevertheless, I felt that childhood guilt. I tasted the power I felt that day. The being, the God, returned to my body. But this time, it did not kick me out. The very presence of it weighed me down, every muscle in my body losing the battle to gravity. The being did not take me over completely. Instead, it nudged me. Periodic boosts of energy had my legs and arms jerk violently like a dying insect as it led me to the table. It helped me wrap my bony fingers around one of the vacutainers and twist open the cap. The vacutainer lurched toward my lips, and I peered down my nose at the content that had taken on a muddy brown hue. The being brought me this far. Now it was up to me to decide. I pressed the broken seal of the vacutainer to my lips and sucked. The blood felt like mucus on my tongue. I jerked my head back and sucked harder, like a sorority girl downing a jello shot. The contents crept down my throat, and I breathed deep through my nose. I was no longer hungry. I felt like I was floating.